It's a bombardment of the senses. 15,000 people seeing, smelling and squelching their way around the Royal Society. This is the most cutting-edge research in Britain's labs right now, and a lot of it's from our region. This is a gut. In fact, it's the cross-section of a baby's gut. Now, our guts have two to three kilograms of bacteria inside. In fact, we are more bacteria than human being. But why is that so important? Well, Lindsay, you're in charge of a program looking into the bacteria in children's guts. Why? Well, these microbes are actually really important in basically everything we do during our lifetimes. They're really important for programming our immune system, for digesting the food that we eat, and they're also really important for resisting nasty pathogens that might get into the gut. You were showing this off earlier. Hit the button. This is a nanotechnology toilet designed by Cambridge University. It will have sensors inside eventually that can read your urine. So it will be able to tell you if you are pregnant, if you've got diabetes, if you've got cancer, if you're depressed. All you'll have to do is use it. Well, nanotechnology is enabling us to see something that otherwise you wouldn't be able to see otherwise. That means you can see molecules or proteins, something which is within your body that can be important uh, for understanding if you are sick or ill. It's all about giving people a feel for the latest science. So you're seeing me and Andy the cameraman like a dragonfly would see us. How would you describe us? It's less clear, it's a lot more pixelated, but and black and white. And how have you enjoyed the exhibition so far? Uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Um, I've learnt a lot. I think everyone's been really um, willing to share what they know and it's really interactive. I'm taking an eye test to see if I have a dry eye disease and basically testing my sight. I really love it. It's really unusual for me as we don't do this much things in school, so it's really interesting. So guys, you've been enjoying the gut. How, yeah. How's it been? It's been really interesting. We've learned about lots of different bacteria and how we need to replenish our bacteria after having infections using different antibiotics and biotics. What do you make of the exhibition, the whole thing? It was really interesting because all the different colours of the lights represent different bacteria, so it was like really visual to see what, what's going on. From the hunt for neutrino particles to using a dragonfly wing design for drones. This is Richard Westcott for BBC Look East at the Royal Society in London.